Let's do final trades. Shannon, Thanks. what do you have for us? IQVIA, uh, data and analytics for those life sciences companies we discussed earlier. Okay, good stuff. Rob Seachin, how about you? AutoZone. Why? Uh, strong top line momentum scores incredibly well on our earnings metrics. Growing top line 15%, year on year earnings 18%. Uh, strong pricing power and ability to pass on inflationary pressures to clients. Okay. I mean, I didn't know if you needed to run. You know, you got a lunch appointment or something like that. But I, th thanks for the information. I appreciate it. Our viewers really appreciate it. Pete. <laughs> I'm going to stick with that accidental trade that we saw, Scott. I think the energy space is continuing to go to the upside. This is a name that's going to fly. Okay. Bryn, what do you have for us? Yeah, JIGB, um, long duration corporates have had their worst sell off since March of 2020. Prior to that, it was decades before. You get a 4% yield. And I think the long end is going to be topping out here. Okay. As Steve Weiss. <laughs> Let's go with XPO Logistics. Why are you laughing? I was going to go at Rob, but it was too easy. No, don't. Let's go with XPO don't, Logistics. Please don't waste any more time. <laughs> the you stock, have. They're breaking the company in two. That's not reflecting valuation. Even the great quarter is not reflecting the valuation. So XPO. <laughs> but again, you've trimmed your position in this one too? I've trimmed my everything. position in everything. Every single individual name. I just want to be sure single, I, you know, I want to be sure Every single individual name.